So we are on the second day of load-in, and I think uh, good karma is finally hitting today. It's currently 7 a.m. I was actually in line much earlier than that. Here's a clip. Here's me in line at 5.50 in the morning outside of the line. But instead of waiting downstairs for like another two hours or so, they actually sent us up early. So I'm, here's my neighbor. We're currently in the spot right now, and they're allowing us to go ahead and preemptively unload, make pallets, so that when the dock workers get here, they're gonna just take everything right away and then we can get going. So honestly, before we could be back here, so vans parked and back here setting up our booth by nine o'clock, which is beautiful because we need all the time that we can get. So I'll keep you guys an update once we get back in, but this is a much better start. I'm going to be actually addressing some of the, uh, I know you, they're, they're technically troll comments, but they actually set me up to bring up a valid reason why I've been making these videos and stuff. But for all of you, that have been joining me on this journey. Sorry about the noise, but uh, I really appreciate you guys. It's been a crazy last 48, 72 hours. I got some sleep, just so you guys know. Five hours, I, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but trust me, my head is flushed. My legs feel refreshed. They were dying yesterday, and we're just ready to go, ready to just kick ass today. Also, for those that are wondering, why don't we just go ahead and make them pallets preemptively and bring it here? If you did not see my previous video, this program right here, where you drive up in your vans, you unload your van onto these pallets here for them then to, t or carts, and for them to take it to your booth, that is included in the price, that is free. But if you go ahead and pre-make your own pallets and you come in in a truck and you have them unload those pallets to your booth, you are charged for that per weight. Um, and just again, to reiterate, like my quote, for you know the stuff that we brought in you know six vans worth plus a little bit more in the truck still was around twenty five thousand dollars not going to do that and so yeah like you'd be like is it even worth it yeah like i'm gonna put all this labor in because i'm not just gonna waste twenty five thousand dollars there like that and so it's honestly backwards every convention center every every company that you work with is different but um, knowing that I have a friend who works on, ironically, I have a friend who works for this company um, and she pretty much told me it was like, this is where they, you know, in terms of logistics and freight and handling, that is where they make their bread and butter. Everything else is like covering their base costs and stuff. So I get it. It's business and in the industry, but it's something that you all need to understand, like moving forward, kind of where the industry is heading. You should honestly know. And last, last part, the reason why we're bringing everything in is because they told us even though there are quote unquote restock days, um, the loading docks are closed and you can only hand carry your restocks in, which means no, I can't do that. So we have to bring everything in now, unfortunately. Otherwise, we're not gonna get everything else in. So change of plans once again. 